Hello, I'm Barbara Lorraine, and this is the KISS Lifestyle Show. The KISS stands for Keep It Simple, Sweetie, and it's all about living well. Today we're visiting with Gio and Barry at La Bastide Bistro in Scripps Ranch, where they're serving up some of the best French food in town. Hello, welcome to La Bastide. And I'm Gilles, I'm the owner of uh, La Bastide, and this is uh, Berry, my great uh, chef. I'm going to be making a uh, Brent Farms flat iron pepper crusted steak. I'll be serving that with a brandy cherry bulgur, salsa pea, and the sauce for this is a foie gras butter sauce. Salsa pea is a root vegetable. It's very similar to a parsnip, kind of like a white carrot. The pepper that I'm using, I've actually blanched four times. I put it in cold water, bring it to a boil, strain it, cold water, bring it to a boil, strain it over four times. And that makes the pepper more mild, so it's not so strong because we coat the steak in the pepper. And you don't want a big bite of really strong pepper. It's not very appetizing. So. Season the steak very well with salt on both sides. Add the pepper. You want to smash it in there, get a nice crust. And then when we sear it in the saute pan, that'll help the pepper stick also. oil so now that my pan's hot I'm gonna add our steak to the saute pan always lay the steak away from you so you don't splash oil back onto yourself so you lay the steak away from you I'm gonna sear it on both sides for about a minute on each side and then I'm going to place it in the oven for about six to seven minutes. While that's searing, I'm gonna get my other sides ready. We have the brandy cherry bulgur. It's bulgur's a grain, and I took cherries that have been macerated in brandy and added them to that. So add a little bit of chicken stock. Heat this up as well. And for the salsa pea, and another saute pan with a little butter. And truffle oil makes everything better. Flip my steak over, you can see the nice crust on the steak. Flip it over. I'm gonna let this sear for about one minute and then place it in the oven. See, my bulgur's heating up. Toss it around. And the salsa as well. I've pulled the meat out of the oven and I wanna let it rest for at least five minutes. That way, when I cut into it, all the juices don't run all over the cutting board. You want to keep those juices in the steak. That's where all your flavor is. I'm going to start plating the dish. First, I'm going to lay down the brandy cherry bulgur. I want to spoon it into like a nice canal. A canal is just like a football shape looking. Roll it nicely into the spoon and just lay it down. So it kind of looks like a little football. It's called a canal. Next, for the salsa, I'm going to add some parsley for some color. Toss it around. Lay that down next. If I want, I can make some designs, make it look nice. And our steak has had plenty of time to rest. So I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna slice it on a bias, which I'm gonna angle my knife. You 
can see the nice pink center. It's a little red, not too red. It's a nice medium. I'm gonna fan it out so you can see it on the plate. And just slide it over to the plate. Wipe around the edges. Now for the sauce. It's a foie gras butter sauce. I took a foie gras pate, whipped it with some unsalted butter. Again, I'm making a cannelle. So what I'm doing is turning it in between the spoon. And it makes a little football shape. I want to lay that on my steak. Now to finish it, finish it with a little chives for some more color. This is a Brant, Brant Farm flat iron pepper crusted steak with brandy cherry bulgur, truffled salsa fee from La Bastide Bistro in Scripps Ranch. Can you say ooh la la? Great French bistro dining at very reasonable prices.